okay, we need to talk about this. Hey everybody, my name's Craig. I'm a graphic designer from Scotland, and today we are looking at Street Fighter VI's brand new logo and also the trailer as well, featuring a massively buff, really, really wide, and also sandal wearing Ryu facing up against Luke, two very prominent and main characters in, Street, in the Street Fighter series. I do need to note here. Ryu hasn't worn sandals at all in the 35 years that the game has been out. Or 36 now. Either way, very, very long time to be sandalless. But from a design point of view, this really needs discussed. Throughout the franchise, their logo has held, you know, the top tier for most recognisable logo. Or one of the most recognisable logos in, you know, gaming history. Alongside, you know, it's competition, Mortal Kombat, and Tekken, which are both equally as recognisable, um, logo-wise. Um, the trio has always stood right at the very pinnacle of one versus one skill-based fighting games. This new direction for the franchise, I think, is really, really interesting, as you know, it completely takes away, you know, the branding of all of the previous uh, five games, and it brings a kind of new, kind of like darker, grungier feel to uh, Street Fighter and the trailer uh, reflects that really really well. I do need to note as well these like little bits of animation that they've got it's almost like a mixture between a kind of smoke and kind of liquid a uh, simulation that they've got going on. I, th I think that's that's really cool. I wish I could uh, do something like that. I feel though instead of getting the same energy from the logo as we get from the characters and fights we've gotten a much simpler and more like modern look this logo could even be compared to an mma logo or an esports team logo and in my opinion i feel it takes some of what makes street fire street fire away it seems although they've left the previous area of street fight fighter and are entering this kind of new kind of untamed and fresh you know branding which i'm actually really interested to see what they're going to do with it and where they take it. Uh, we do see the trailer, the kind of versus uh, animation that's a lot uh, grungier and darker, which personally, I'm all for that. I'm all for grunge and dark in, um, in design and animation. But recently, it's came out that the logo itself for Street Fighter might actually be an Adobe stock image. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not firing shots at, you know, stock imagery or stock websites. I use them. I think they're an incredible asset to anybody that's in, you know, the creative and graphic design space. You can get some amazing templates that you can work off of uh, as well. There's some logos that is, as well as taking inspiration from, you know, you can manipulate and use um, as well. But I think that's the really important thing is that manipulation aspect because looking at this and then looking at this it's difficult to tell which one's the stock image i mean obviously it is the second option that is the stock image but these look really really similar and i think that's where a massive issue has a uh, come about for capcom because it does look like they've just completely taken away a and copied this stock image and they've just added the six they've thinned down the hexagonal border and they've angled the the two letter forms a little bit more and that's that's kind of all they've all they've really done um so i do think that is a an issue for a capcom i do think originality is you know something that's near impossible now in graphic design you know there is that a uh, that very famous a uh, quote that you know nothing's original but i think in this case you have two designs which are so so close and so similar to each other that there is a definite issue here because you found i think you know in the past there have been several cases where logo designs have been incredibly similar like a really really big one recently was the tokyo 2020 olympics which was 
pretty much a carbon copy of a, I believe it was a French theatre uh, logo. I'll have those uh, side by side in a in a second. I think even before the stock image, you know, came to light that it was, you know, so similar. I feel that the new logo for Street Fighter, not exactly a not exactly a massive triumph. As interesting as you know, new directions are. I feel like they should have kept to and just updated, you know, what they already have. You know, done something similar to Baskin Robbins, eh, which I did in a previous video, and you know, evolved the logo from there and not taken a completely different direction. Because eh, I think, especially in the gaming community, eh, like take for example at E three when you've got these, you know, massive, massive games that are rumored to be coming out, possibly coming out, and then you see that logo. Take God of War, for example. The God of War logo has been consistently the same style, but it's just been updated throughout. And when you when people saw that trailer, they they went absolutely nuts. But when seeing this, yes, there was a lot of hype around it. Seeing that new logo, I feel just kind of takes away from what Street Fighter A was and is. You know, I've always been a big fan of the of the Street Fighter games. Um, I think I played one of the first ones on, I think it was the Sega Mega Drive that I played it on. That's really shown my age. I think ultimately they made a really interesting a uh, decision to develop this logo. I say develop to bring out this brand new, um, this new direction for a uh, Street Fighter and for the, for the franchise. And I think that it could be difficult to do Street Fighter 7, 8 and so on in the future because they are completely changing the the style of the of the franchise. But then again, they might come back, they might relook at it. Who knows? Who knows what will happen? But yeah, from that, guys, I might actually even now that I think about it, I might make it my own challenge to do a little uh, a little rebrand of Street Fighter. Possible idea in the future. I'll need to write that one down. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. If you feel like you have a different opinion, maybe you agree with me that the Street Fighter logo should have stayed within the franchise, or, yeah, it's great to go a, a different direction sometimes. But yeah, feel free, leave a like, drop a comment. How do you guys feel about this? And if you're liking this comment, I'm going to continue doing these. I probably do my own design challenges as well, and I've got a couple projects down the line too. Feel free to subscribe. Go for it. But I will catch you guys in the next one. See you later.